My name's Eric Wielander, welcome to Windy Tech, and today I'm gonna show you how to quickly trigger HomeKit scenes with your Apple Watch. So the Home app on your Apple Watch that comes with it out of the box, it leaves a lot to be desired. Um, the cards to change scenes are really huge, so it's really difficult to see more than one at once. Um, and it just can quickly get cluttered with all kinds of accessories. And I think really tries to parallel the experience on the phone way too much. Um, so third-party developer Aaron Pierce and his company Sunya Limited uh, made a um, alternate take on a HomeKit control for the watch called Home Run. And Home Run, uh, just like the Home app, allows you to launch it from a complication or the Apple Watch dock. And then um, it presents you a very simple, minimal um, interface of an icon and color that you customize for different scenes that you want to trigger throughout your home. All right, so first, you should go to the App Store and download the Home Run app. It's $2.99 up front in the US, um, and you can also get it bundled with a variety of Aaron Pierce's other HomeKit applications in his Home Essentials bundle. So when you first launch the app, you'll have to select which HomeKit home you wanna manage, and then you'll be presented with a screen of the scenes that you've already set up within that HomeKit home. So here you can see different scenes that I've set up for our family home. And if, let's say I wanna set up a uh, button for triggering the basement light scene. So I choose basement lights and it'll go ahead and add it to uh, the complication. And if I tap on it, then you can change both the icon and the color. So maybe I wanna give it like a dark or a little bit lighter gray color. And um, then I want the icon to be the stairs, thinking of you're going down the stairs to the basement. Uh, so then there's the icon and color. I hit save, there it is. And now that scene is already on my watch. So from there, if I wanna add an additional scene, let's say I wanna add my work time scene for my office. So I add that here, and that turns on both the stairs down here to the basement to my office, as well as the lights in my office to 100%. Make sure all my video lights are off as well. So I can do that and choose maybe like a yellow color for that. And then I want the you know computer icon. Now let's just do okay hit save. So now I have that icon, very visibly different than the uh, basement lights one. Now if I wanted them side by side to save space, I can go ahead and pick this one up and click and drag it over to uh, be next to the icon here. All right, so now we've installed the app, we've added some tiles, but one of the key things I think for getting quick access to this app is adding it as a complication on your watch face. Okay, so I'm gonna open the watch app here and then tap on the utility face that I want to use this complication with. And then from there, I'm gonna tap on the top left for the spot where I wanna put the complication and then just use this picker to scroll down to home run. So you'll see then there's the home run um, icon there on the screen, and then that will appear over on my Apple Watch as a complication I can quickly tap. If I don't wanna have it as a complication for some reason, then you can simply add it to your dock. If you go into the watch settings on the dock, you can select it as a favorite, or it'll automatically put it there as a recent app you've launched. Um, and then um, I have it in my dock as well, so I can quickly get to it that way if for some reason I'm on another watch face or whatever, it's just another way. And um, the other thing to know about watchOS is that uh, apps that are either as a complication or in the dock get prioritized as far as memory management and caching and everything else. So you're gonna get faster performance from whatever apps, probably you're gonna get faster performance from whatever apps you put in your dock or in your complications. Um, so keep that in mind, especially as you're trying to use an app like this where you're trying to get quick access to stuff. All right, so I'm here on my Apple Watch and I've added the complication here. So I'm just gonna tap on that and it'll show the different uh, two tiles that we set up already. So I just have to tap on one of those and then it will trigger the basement light scene. You can see that it tells me the basement light scene went on. You can see all the lights go on around me and then the tile turns white, meaning that that scene is active. I can then just hit the crown, press in on the crown, and I go back to the main watch screen. So triggering a home kit scene is a pretty complex thing going on behind the scenes you don't really notice. There's all this communication between different hubs and you know the state of different things to sort of make a scene happen. Um, and 
you know, I don't even know all the details of how that works, but it's not gonna be instant. And especially then when you add in your Apple Watch triggering it, which might go back to your phone, I don't know, or it might use your Wi-Fi. It probably depends on the scenario. You know, other ways of triggering it, like a Philips Hue switch that I've reviewed previously, or a HomePod uh, might be faster in certain situations, but you're probably not gonna have those in every option so think about how you use home kit what scenes you want to put on your wrist wherever you are um, and it makes it easy to quickly trigger them right from your wrist um, when some of those other options are not accessible for example from, um, i don't take my phone into the bedroom with me when i go to sleep i just take my apple watch um, and so to have this is a quick way to trigger some of those good night scenes um, before i go to bed is excellent. Thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below what kinds of scenes you really like triggering from your watch. Um, maybe you do, have you tried Home Run? Or are you actually happy with the gen general home app um, on the watch? Subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. Thanks again so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.